Hello, my name is Marcos Leva, and in this week's project, How Do Visual Arts Communicate?, I will be discussing and analyzing two uh, works of art. The first one is Maya Lin's uh, Vietnam Veterans and Memorial, which was uh, completed in 1982. The uh, the memorial consists of two black granite walls that come to an intersection bearing the names of U.S. soldiers that died during the Vietnam War. The walls are black and shiny, and with the exception of the years 1959 and 1975 and some commemorative wo words, the wall is a list of names engraved in chronological order of when the soldiers died. Each wall is 246 0.75 feet long. Combined length is 493 and a half feet. Uh, each segment is made of 70 panels. At their intersection, the highest point, they are uh, 10.1 feet high, and they taper off to a width of 8 inches at their extremities. Uh, the granite uh, for the wall uh, came from southern India. As of 2011, the wall contains 58,272 58, names. The largest panels have 137 lines of names. Uh, the small, smallest panels have only one line of names. Uh, there are a total of five names on each line. Uh, the name of the first fallen soldier starts at the top of the intersection. Uh, starts at the top of the intersecting right wall preceded by the year 1959 and then continues in chronological order to the right as the wall continues east and then fades into the ground. The names continue uh, starting now on the west end of, of the wall starting from the lowest point and heading back towards the intersection with the year 1975 uh, the year the war ended engraved following uh, following the last name uh, when standing at the intersect when standing at the intersection you can see that the east wall is pointing to the Washington Monument and the west wall is pointing to the Lincoln Memorial uh, Maya Lin's purpose in designing the, the designing the monument uh, the way that she did was to make the names the focus of the piece this was different than traditional war memorials that depicted war heroes and allegory symbolism, such as uh, Augustus St. Gaudens Memorial to Robert Gould Shaw and the Massachusetts 54th Regiment, 1884 Boston, which shows Robert Shaw leading an anonymous army with an allegorical angel or spirit flying above him, symbolizing peace and death. Uh, Mylan's design was more abstract and modern in, in its design and the simplicity of just having the names and excluding images of heroism or allegorical symbolism. Um, this makes a greater impact because it makes the viewer focus on the name and the notion that this person died for a heroic and patriotic cause. Uh, giving the names, uh, you know, giving the names more impact and significance. Uh, there is also symbolism in the way the shiny black granite is in sharp contrast to the engraved names, and the viewer's reflection in the stone gives gives someone the sense that the wall represents a connection between the world of the of the living and the more peaceful, darker world beyond where all the soldiers have gone. The next piece that I will discuss is Jericho's Wrath of the Medusa, uh, painted in 1819. It, uh, it depicts an event that happened three years earlier in 1816 when a merchant vessel that was off the northern coast of Africa hit a storm. The captain soon realized that the ship was going down and instructed the ship's carpenter to take the extra lumber in the ship and quickly make a raft 
since there were not since there weren't enough lifeboats. Uh, the captain and the crew took the lifeboats, and the remaining uh, uh, passengers were to go on this makeshift raft. The idea was that the lifeboats were to tow the raft, but when the captain realized that they weren't making any headway towing the raft, uh, they cut them loose. There were 150, 150 people on the raft, uh, with only 15 surviving 10 days later. The, the painting shows the moment at which the survivors uh, have spotted a ship off in the distance that, uh, that will save them. Um, the captain, um, you know, the, 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 the thing of it here is that the captain abandoned the passengers. And that's really the, uh, the focus of the painting. Um, that he's not with the survivors on the raft. The painting was um, was made during a period in French history called the Restoration, in which the monarchy was restored in France. In France, uh, the French Revolution failed. Napoleon was defeated, and the king was now named ruler of France. the The captain who was appointed by the king was not a qualified captain and was later indicted for his actions. Uh, this painting uh, represents the survival of man against nature uh, as well as the struggle of man versus man. It is, uh, it is a very emotional painting that shows death and hope and an indictment against the French monarchy at the time. The painting is uh, considered, uh, has the feel and is considered a romanticism. French it is under the category of French romanticism in the way that it depicts emotion and human suffering. Uh, some of the elements of this piece include a sharp contrast um, between uh, light and dark, uh, the way the action seems to enter the viewer's space. Um, it, uh, how the raft is set at a diagonal, the diagonal seem to animate and give the scene action, as well as the highly realistic details in the figures. In conclusion, uh, what I've learned by analyzing these uh, two, two pieces is that simplicity can be very powerful in Maya Lin's design of the Vietnam Veterans Memorial with the focus of the names against the backdrop of shiny black granite uh, as well as how romanticism style painting by Gericault makes a powerful critique of a corrupt French monarchy and the perseverance of human beings.